Hey nerdlings! What up nerdlings? Do you nerd for new releases? Lady Lacey has a little bit of a hint here, just a little, because we got some Link action. And uh, some... Cute. Not only are we Zelda fans of this house, we happen to be Link's Awakening fans. I mean, you gotta have it on Game Boy. You gotta have the Game Boy Color version, the DX with the extra, extra dungeons. And... Extra, extra, read all about it. And you gotta get through those games with a nice guide, the original, I might like I said, add. read just, all about just it. Just And when you're all done with that, why not kick back with a little bit of manga action? You can't read that. I can't read this. <laughs> <laughs> I like the egg, though. All right, so we picked up our goodies at GameStop, and one of the things that we got was the nice double-sided poster. And uh, just to show you but they were kind enough to give us two so that we can show off both sides. And... Link's nose is pointy. It is very pointy and He's his hair is very shiny. He looks plastic almost. Black and plastic. It's fantastic. I love how colorful this yeah. looks. I am so excited. I, I don't know why, but I, I've never played the game or seen it, but I am like totally in love with that egg up there. <laughs> like, I don't know why, but I'm just all of a sudden just falling in love with that egg. So. Maybe it reminds me of a dragon's egg. On to the main event. Look at that big box. Oh, we are suckers for big boxes as always. And this is the Dreamer edition of Ooh. Link's Awakening for the Switch. Ooh, oh, that's pretty. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous art book. With some uh, palm trees on the back. Nice. Wow. So that we've got so some cool. character art. They kind of look Animal Crossing esque. I like this. So you have Christine, and then it's also showing her house on the opposite page. Oh, showing the uh, Ooh, little side scrolling dungeons. He's angry. A, is that a bomb bite? Oh, look at the fishies. <gasps> is that a ghost? He's sad. So this is great. That Ooh. is cool. Very much looking forward to this game because like I said, I've never seen it or played it or anything like that. So this will be a lot of fun. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, that new book smell. That's so good. All right, so in the big box, the only things are the art book and the game itself. The back has a very gorgeous looking picture. Uh-huh. New game smell. Little bit oh, of nice artwork map. on the inside. No manual. I'm kind of surprised by that, yeah. especially with this edition. Thought maybe they might throw a little booklet in there. That map and is really cool. And then there's the game. Though. Sweet. Are you gonna lick your game, claim it? No. No. Hashtag lick the game. <laughs> now, even though we've got the posters and we got the big box with the art book and everything, there's still one more companion piece. Boom! Amiibo. Shiny. Amiibo. He's shiny. Nerdlings, if you did not know, in this house, we are monsters. Rip them open! Oh. Toys and games, things were meant to be open and oh, enjoyed. Oh, he's so cute. He is pretty adorable. He really does look like a like one of those gumball toys. Oh my gosh. And the thing that gets me is how shiny he is. I know, he's very shiny. And you've got that uh, Zelda base that is typical on the Zelda Amiibo. He uses a lot of hairspray. We did get one more Zelda thing, and it kind of spills into another pickup. This one was all the ladies. This was all me. I got a Switch light case. Oh, that's so cute because it's Link's Awakening themed. And wait a minute. You don't have a Switch light. I do now. I am a sucker for teal colors, and so the minute he showed me that there was going to be a Switch in the teal color, I had to get it, and I was... You could say colorblind and didn't care that I couldn't play it on the TV. <laughs> All I wanted was the color. This one's you. I got to open the last switch. Inside here, we have the switch 
how to play with it or whatever. We have the plug-in cord. And then we have the beautiful Switch Lite. Look at that beautiful color. That is actually very that pretty. That is really pretty. Now, as y'all know, the Switch Lite does not plug into the TV. It is strictly on the go. The I guess they're not, they wouldn't be called Joy-Cons, would they? I guess not anymore. But Just the controls. They are attached. And it's actually pretty comfortable. It fits my hand pretty well. I don't know. What do you think? Oh, gosh. It's not too bad. Uh, oh, my goodness. For me, the uh, the buttons feel fine. But coming down to this analog, yeah, that, that. that cramps me up a little bit in the hand. And if I had to come down here. So as long as I'm up on the top left analog and the face buttons, I'm fine. Uh, the shoulder buttons can be a little trickier for me, but it's it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I, it works pretty well for my hands. Uh, there's no kickstand like the Switch has. Oh, there's not. So, um, I, I will say I was more excited about the color than anything, so I don't know a whole lot about the Switch Lite. I, can you, because since that one you can put the stand up and play with a peripheral, like, either the Joy-Cons or a like a controller and look at the screen. Can you do that with the Switch Lite, do you know? I think that we will have to look into that. I didn't do a whole lot of research on the Switch Lite before the release because I'm, me personally, I was happy with the Switch itself. Oh, I was too. I'm not much of a portable gamer if I can avoid it. So we'll have to check into that, but I'm pretty sure that you can because of the two player games. Okay, because I was gonna say, like I said, I was more interested in the color than anything because I'm, I'm the same way. I was very pleased with our regular Switch. So this was literally just a add to the collection. I wanted the color. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The case is going to be perfect The case for it. is going to be perfect. And the one thing I liked about this one, obviously, was a Zelda day. But I did love the little zipper pull is the Zelda shield inside. There is a nice little handle. Nice. And then inside there, there's a pocket uh, that holds four Switch cartridges. Or one slot can hold two micro SD cards. Handy. Very so it, handy. that takes up one of the switch spots, but you know. But if you need that extra yeah. space on the go. So I thought that was kind of neat. It's covered up by a nice mesh squishy net so it doesn't scratch the uh, switch. And then it just kind of zips up in there and fits just nicely. Look at that. Wow, that's very low profile yeah. too. Very nice. Very and nice. the whole pouch itself is very soft. Yeah, very so soft, very it squishy. Feels like it's going to uh, to really protect it, you know. It it has a lot of give. I think that switch flight's going to be pretty yeah. safe in there. Yeah, and I like how it is very much very skin tight to it. So there's not a lot of extra bulk. Like if you were to throw this in your purse or your backpack or your mm -hmm. suitcase or your carry on, there's not a whole lot of of bulk to the it. The space is put to good use. Yes, I like it. We were going all out at GameStop, yep. and if we had to have one, we've got to have. All the Amiibo. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we have Ivysaur. Squirtle. It burns when I squirtle. And Snake. And nerdlings, what do we do? Oh no. <gasps> and they're free because... The thing is, with the Amiibo, something that has always impressed us throughout the years is how much detail goes into these figures. Snake is a great example. He has a lot of small pieces. You've got his gun at his side. He's got pouches. All the pouches, Deadpool would approve. Speak up, he can't hear. <laughs> he is trying. What? He's, what? An old, he's an old man. <laughs> I said, What's Snake! That? Snake! That's that's really why they yell at him. It's not that he's dead, it's just that he's old and can't hear well, that's so That's what well. happens when you do explosions and shoot guns off without any ear That is true. He does have his mullet and his... Look uh, at that. Uh, that his bandana, just, yeah. Just flailing in the wind. Well, speaking of flailing, look at Ivysaur there with his vines. And even figures like this that don't have all of the the teeny tiny details, yeah. they still punch it up a notch because the, what is that, a tulip on his back? Yeah, and there's some serious line details and like even when you look inside there, there's some serious detail going on. Although I will say the way that both of these guys are kind of mounted, I feel like they're kind of taxidermied. 
<laughs> like, they're dead and they've been stuffed. Of course, you have cute little Squirtle. See, I can't tell if he's super excited to be out of the box or if he's like, holy crap, it's going in my shell. Oh, right up <laughs> Shell Street. Now, uh, he is super cute. again, a lot of good detail, even though he doesn't have a lot of detail to go into But them. there's so much going on with just his little face. The fact that things like his mouth are open and it's not just a painted on smile, which would have been very easy for them to do. And the coloring in his eyes looks really good. Same thing with Ivysaur here. And he's actually got two little fangs. They're not painted fangs, which is nice. The only thing that looks a little strange to me on Squirtle is his tail. There's something a bit unnatural. It looks kind of fuzzy. Not that it's fuzzy, just the way it's coming out of him. It almost feels like uh, it doesn't belong, like it was glued on after the fact. That may just be me. Well, looks like we have some more Amiibo to add to the collection and find a place to display them. Uh, we got another big box to try to fit on the shelf, and that means I've got a new game to go play, which is perfect because you've got a new now, Switch to play with. Now I have my own with. Switch, so yeah. I don't have to fight you for the Switch anymore. It's true. It's true. Go play your own. <laughs> All right, nerdlings, definitely let us know if you picked any of these up, what you think. Did you take your Amiibo out so that you can get a closer upper look at them? Uh, have you been playing the game? What do you think? What do you think of the Switch Lite if you happen to play with it? And leave those comments down below. Be sure to give the video a like if you happen to like it. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to TeePublic because we've got merchandise over there. And if we like it... We nerd it. We nerd it! Snake! We nerd it! Snake! I'm gonna go play with this now. He's awakening! Ba -da 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 -da. Oh wow, we clashed big time. <laughs> got to me a switch case. Oops, let's try that again. <laughs> I was gonna let you keep going. <laughs> Tell me when you're ready. And it's broken. Not yet. Oh my gosh.